Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. Our final video of today on this Thursday, September 14th, 2023, is Tyler Cameron defending Tom Sandoval. Now, he doesn't say that what Tim's, Tom Sandoval did was right, but he says Tom Sandoval has a good heart. Let's listen to that interview, and then I'm going to share what Tom Sandoval had to say regarding Raquel Levis, a.k.a. Rachel Levis, blocking him on Instagram. If you're not familiar with the story, this is all connected to Bachelor Nation because Tyler Cameron was on Season 2 of Special Forces with other uh, Bachelor star Nick Vial and Tom Sandoval and other reality TV people. And I, uh, you know, given the one chance I had to ask Tom Sandoval a question at my stand-up show last month, I said, how did you do on Special Forces? He said, very good. That's that's what he told me. So anyway, we'll have to see how it all plays out. But in the meantime, here's what Tyler Cameron has to say. Of course, this is going to anger some people because a lot of people believe that someone's ultimately good or ultimately bad. I'll tell you what, let's listen to what Tyler has to say and then we can make a judgment for it ourselves. Yeah, so you were on with obviously Tom Sandoval. Mm -hmm. Did he ever express while you guys were filming that he still wanted to be with Rachel at all? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, when we were there, he was definitely really trying to, to figure that one out, you know. Now, also, Nick Vial had mentioned on his podcast, Vial Files, that Tom Sandoval snuck in a photo of Rachel Levis to their set when they weren't supposed to have any family photos. Oh, and, yeah. uh, I really don't know what's going on in that world. I'm so detached, but... Oh, really? Uh, are they together or not? I don't know. I don't think so, because oh. she just blocked him on Instagram after Oh, yeah. Her. I've been blocked a few times. Usually that doesn't mean good things. <laughs> you think that that's, yeah. it's over for them then? Yeah, yeah. Usually that... For me, yeah, it's been like, that's probably it. You you, know? Did she, like, talk about her a lot or, like, wanted to, like, make things right or, or get back together? Yeah, I think he was really motivated to make it right, so... Yeah. You feel like they could have a future? Have you ever well, come back from a blocking? Everyone who, who, who's blocked me, we never got back together. No. So based on my experience, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to ask you real quick. Uh, did you what? Did you give any advice to Tom? Um, you know, I think... Re relationship advice. Relationship advice? Uh, stick with one girl. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but no, I think, you know, work on yourself. So, of course, you know, making light of a very tragic situation which was that Tom Sandoval cheated on his longtime girlfriend. And it wasn't just that he cheated. It was the way in which he did it. It was the whole, I mean, look, I don't know if anyone in good faith cares to hear all of the ins and outs of what went down, but everyone who followed this story was just treating it as if he's the most despicable person. And I don't disagree with them for that. I mean, he wait, you know, he cheated on Ariana while she was at home after her grandmother died or all these crazy stories came out. I mean, not a good look. Of um, I think, you know, I spent time with Tom. I, I enjoy Tom. I think Tom has a good heart. Like, you know, we really, really shared some sentimental moments and uh, he's, he, he's got a good heart in there. And so I think just being, you know, complete with himself and happy with himself, then he can really be that for somebody else. So a lot of his castmates have spoke pretty poorly about him. Mm -hmm. you, would you disagree? You feel like he, he's a good guy? I would say that he, you know, he means well. He's got a good heart, you know. All right, so he said it multiple times. He has a good heart inside of him. It really begs the question, can you have a good heart inside of you and still do something bad? Um, it really comes down to what's your definition of a good heart. Is Tom trying his best? I don't know. Was he trying his best when he was cheating on his girlfriend? Probably not. His defense was that she was uh, talking about self-harm if he ever left himself, which is a terrible defense defense there's plenty of you know reasons why and i'm sure he knows now if you should break up with someone do it don't cheat on them it'll make it worse and this and that now in hindsight ariana has probably benefited the most from this uh, cheating scandal but you know if, if you're going to be damn you know have to deal with the damage of being cheated on uh how cool of her to be able to monetize it in multiple ways i mean she probably made a million bucks out uh, which of us who have had her heart broken and been cheated on got to make a million bucks afterwards point being i'm sure she would have never wanted that to happen in the first place but at the same time you know if it rains uh get out the rain buckets right and she did just that now does Tom have a good heart? Maybe, and this is kind of, a, you know, like sometimes there's cheaters or people out there that treat women a certain way, but another guy will like them. And it's because, well, they have a different lived experience. Like maybe in the confines of the show, Tom's authenticity came out in a way that doesn't on Vanderpump. I don't know. I'm speculating. I have no idea. Uh, but I don't think 
Tyler would go out of his way to, to defend Tom Sandoval if he didn't genuinely think, oh, he's actually uh, not a bad guy. Maybe he's learned his lesson, all these types of things. Could be true, but can also understand people would roll their eyes to be like, oh my gosh. But look, wouldn't you rather hear what Tyler actually has to say than some PR thing about about uh, just admonishing Tom? Like, if he thinks he's got a good heart, you know, that's his opinion. I'm okay with someone having that opinion. I don't know either one of them. He, he fucked up, we, you know, and... <laughs> What happens is when you fuck up on this stage, everyone in the whole world gets to judge you or see you. And what he did was really, really wrong. Yeah. You know? uh, but I, he should not never be able to date somebody ever again. He should be able to find love and find the right person. But he needs to do the work. And hopefully he has and is. And hopefully he can, you know, lead him to the right person. You feel like the special forces maybe changed him for the better? It changed everyone for the better. Yeah. So definitely. Changed everyone for the better. How interesting. You want to believe that. I certainly do. No one wants a better redemption for villains than me. Uh, but it looks pretty bad. Here's Tom Sandoval calling Raquel thirsty and immature right after she blocked him. So he reached out to her Instagram and said like, hey, hope you're doing well. Happy birthday. Miss you, friend. And she responded with, okay, bye, and blocked him. Here's Tom's response. Uh, today's her birthday, so... Wish her happy birthday. I saw you wish her happy birthday, said you guys were friends, and then she blocked you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you respond to that? I, I think it's a little thirsty and immature, personally, but, um, you know, she's, she is who she is. I, I still wish the best for her, and uh, um, I hope she's doing good, and I hope she finds her happiness. I'm biased too. So there it is, folks. I hope she finds her happiness. Now, that wasn't the only time they caught Tom Sandoval. Here he is um, uh, elaborating. The audio is terrible. But here's a video of Tom Sandoval getting popped. I guess that's what they call it. Uh, paparazzi found him, or maybe they were called by him. Who knows? Discussing further how he wishes her the best. But he kind of does it in the most passive-aggressive way possible. Have a watch. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing, man? What's up? Yeah, caught up too, man. It's good to see you. Hey, Tom, qu question, man. Hey, yo, yo, today was Raquel's birthday. People saw that you made a comment, and she blocked you instantly, man. How do you how do you feel about that? I mean, uh, you know, I, I did press today. I was I was surprised. I you know haven't talked to her in quite a while. I I didn't know if like people were gonna be reaching out to her for a birthday. So I was just like, you know, hey, I hope you're finding happiness and peace and you know i miss you friend and she like uh blocked me and said okay bye and, like i said yeah and, and there's still no hard feelings regardless i mean look like she's doing whatever she she needs to do you know um she needs to distance herself uh you know change her name distance herself break off of this entire situation unless the money's right but like you know um, all right, so he goes, unless the money's right. So all of that good work to repair is improving. We just get we just get to see it's deeper than that, folks. It's deeper than that. Does he have a mental health issue? I don't know. I'm not, you know, who am I to judge? Do I think being on a reality show for 10 years where you're incentivized to be a shit human can lead to the worst version of yourself? Uh, yeah, I think so. I do think so. Um, either way... That's your Tom Sandoval, Tyler Cameron crossover. Will Tom Sandoval go do Nick Vial's podcast? That's the big question. I know Nick has obviously wants him to go on there. Um, pay him some money. Pay him ten grand to do it. You know what I mean? It's like, boy, it would be a huge interview. Uh, but, you know, I can understand also why people don't want to be uh, in the same uh, environment as Tom because he's radioactive. So there Tyler is being positive, saying, oh, you know, he's actually got a good heart, whatever. And then people go, oh, Tyler, you're one of the bad ones. I'm not saying that, but that's what people say. And that's why, uh, other, you know, publicly a lot of times people don't comment on others' radioactivity. But credit where it's due. Tyler, not afraid to share his opinion, so you got to appreciate that. All right, well, that's it for us today. If you want, I got the Rush Hour podcast up, Bachelor Rush Hour. We covered all of your Bachelor news, plus I covered Howie Mandel as a scab deciding to... I'm sorry, not Howie Mandel, excuse me. Oh, Bill Maher. Oh, got them all confused. Bill Maher uh, uh, with his show Real Time with Bill Maher is coming back. I've got the story of uh, out of Texas where a young um, uh, Girl Scout troop was being chased by a 14-foot alligator. I've got those stories and more all on today's Bachelor Rush Hour. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.